What's up, Power Hands team? Coach Gabby here, and I'm here to give you an explosive boxing workout. Now, this is for my professional and amateur boxers and anybody who's a practitioner as well. This is gonna up your boxing game and explosivity, rotational power that you need to be a fantastic, good practitioner in boxing. So what I have are several pieces of equipment. I have my PowerFit gloves, of course, and my PowerFit suit. I also have a medicine ball. I have a kettlebell, and then I also have a single dumbbell. Now, based on your fitness level and your size, you can up the weight of all of this equipment, but even just the PowerFit gloves and power suit, you're gonna get that resistance that you're looking for. So, I'm gonna start off with my medicine ball first. What I'm trying to accomplish here is creating a fulcrum in my elbow of 90 degrees. So you'll see this a lot in your bread and butter punches, your uppercuts and your hooks, classic close range punches. Now we're not talking about the long range, we're in the pocket, we're in there, right? We're looking for this nice 90 degree angle in this elbow, okay? What is nice about this medicine ball is that it gets us there without having to do anything extra. All I gotta do is hold it right on top of my bicep in between my shoulder and my palm, and I am holding it, and it gets me to that 90 degree angle that I'm looking for when I'm doing uppercuts. Now, whenever you're doing a classic uppercut, we want that wrist backed up by the elbow, elbow, backed up by the shoulder. You have to have stability within all of these muscles and between your wrist and your elbow and your shoulder. That has to be a strong, firm fulcrum that's not gonna go anywhere, right? A lot of times with beginners, you're gonna see a lot of like scooping motions, scooping motions with the hooks, um, and you don't want that. You want this to be one solid, <laughs> fulcrum. Now I'm driving through my hips, rotational power through my torso. I'm turning that hip over through the ball of my foot and then I'm driving once again my elbow to the ceiling. So when I bring back this medicine ball, you're going to see that here with this uppercut. I'm going to go ahead and place that medicine ball right on my bicep. I'm going to load my stance like I would I'm orthodox, so I'm going to be showing you everything from orthodox. Nice 60-40, nice loaded stance. My opposite hand is still high. I'm going to rotate just as I would with anything on my rear side, turning over the hip, pressure through the ball of the foot. I'm going to drive that elbow up until that medicine ball lands on top of my shoulder. So from the side, here. I want to get the elbow all the way equal to my shoulder at least right? Because when you follow through on an uppercut, you want to drive through that elbow. You want to lift that elbow high. So with this particular exercise, there's our nice 90 degree fulcrum. And then we're going to drive through that elbow and all the other components from floor to top, we're adding in as well. So think of it as your normal uppercut. We're just going to add some weight to it. Add this medicine ball, make sure that we're firm in that 90 and we're going to drive. So I'm gonna give you 10 reps to complete. I'm gonna show you three solid reps. First, I'm gonna show you forward, then I'm gonna show you from the side. You really, really, really wanna generate power here. Drive through your hip, drive through your elbow. There's our medicine ball rear uppercut. Now, we're gonna use this medicine ball for one more exercise. It's gonna be the lead hook. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna place this medicine ball right to the inside of our chest in between our bicep and our forearm. Classic placement of our hook, okay? This is our nice inside range hook, close range. So we're in there. I have my elbow in line with the wrist, in line with the shoulder. I'm hitting that 90 degree fulcrum, 
again, the ball is going to help with that. So for those of you guys who are practitioners, maybe wanting to become an amateur um, in the sport, this is a great drill for you to get that shoulder stability where it needs to be. Now, once I'm here, I'm gonna find my nice 60-40, back leg is loaded, and I'm going to wind this hook up to practice this unwind that you would typically see with a lead hook. So, for example, it could be off of a slip. Hands are up nice and high. I had slipped to the left. I'm gonna unwind, drive through my elbow, turn over my lead hip, slice my elbow across from left to right, if you're an orthodox like me, sit my weight on my rear leg. So, showing you three times forward, three times facing sideways. Hands up nice and high. Find that nice 90 degree angle. Hold that ball tight. I'm gonna slip to the left. <clears throat> Unwind. <clears throat> I'm really trying to generate that power here. <clears throat> Sideways. <clears throat> and there's our med ball hook. Remember, exhale anytime you're doing a punch. That breath gives you power. That breath gives you energy. Remember to breathe, team. Now, 10 reps of your rear uppercut, 10 reps of your lead hook. I would do that for two to three sets. Remember to take your time every single rep. Get your energy where it needs to be prior to the next rep. You don't wanna rush these. This is an explosive movement. You're trying to build and generate power, all right? Okay, team, next, we're moving on to the kettlebell. These are fairly simple, but of course, they can be challenging. Now, I'm just using a 17-pound kettlebell. Again, up your weight if you need to, lower your weight if you need to. I still have my suit on, so I'm getting that resistance. Now, I'm gonna place this kettlebell on my rear side, my loaded side. I'm gonna put it up on my shoulder into a racked position, right into the crease of my elbow. And I'm kind of just letting it hang into my palm. It's comfortable, I'm not going anywhere. And then I'm gonna place the tips of my knuckles to my jaw, right? So just like we would, in our standard boxing stance. Hands up nice and high. I'm gonna find my 60-40, load that back leg. What's nice about this single side kettlebell work for a boxer, amateur, professional, practitioner, this is going to help you really feel that 60-40 that we're looking for here. You want that nice loaded back leg, that's your springboard. So this weight, this extra weight on your rear side is gonna help you really feel that. Now, of course, active rear calf, make sure that you're up on that ball of the foot and I'm ready. That's my springboard, okay? All right, team, from here, I'm gonna do a traditional lunge from my stance with a rotation towards my lead side. So this is gonna help you unlock your rear hip for rotational power in anything on that rear side, crosses, hooks, uppercuts, slipping to the left, rolling to the left. You need this rotational movement in anything you do involving that rear side. Hands up nice and high. I'm gonna turn my hip over and I'm gonna act as if I'm gonna touch this weighted side elbow to my lead side knee. I take it back to the top. Drop down, rotate on the ball of my foot, take it back through. Drop down, rotate, take it back through from the side. When you finish, try to finish in that nice cushion stance. Try not to lock the legs like you would. Um, maybe if you're doing jump squats, right? Make sure that you're staying in that firm stance. Hands up nice and high, rotate, back to your stance. Rotate, back to your stance. One more time. And that's our lunge with a rotation towards the lead side in our stance. Now, when you're doing this, I want 10 on your strong side. I'm orthodox, this is my side. One more exercise here. We have traditional squats in your stance. 
Now, when we do this, we're gonna hold for three seconds at the bottom. Now, when I'm teaching beginners, somebody I'm taking from scratch, I always tell them, you are gonna be so surprised how much your legs are gonna be on freaking fire when you box. You use your core, you use your quads, you use your calves like crazy. Athletic, strong legs team. So, when I'm in this nice 60-40 stance, I'm gonna get those quads, I'm gonna get my rear calf ready for that explosive movement and anchoring down into my stance that it's gonna take to be a high level boxer. Hands are up nice and high. I'm gonna hold at the bottom for three seconds. One, two, three, explode up with no full extension. I wanna go just right back into my loaded 60-40 stance. Back into it. One, two, three. One, two, three. From the side. Down. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. And those are your stance squats. Remember, keep that bell right next to that jaw. Practice keeping that right hand nice and locked, right? Lead hand right on that jaw as well. Nice 60-40 as you do all of this. The stance is your base, guys. That's the most important thing that we're working here. So make sure that you always return back to a strong stance. I want 10 on both exercises in your strong stance. Last one, team. We got one more piece of equipment. This is my single dumbbell. Now, this one's a fast one. All we're gonna do is hold this dumbbell vertically. I'm gonna keep my elbows tucked and tight to my body, and I'm gonna hold this dumbbell just a little out from my body. I'm not fully extended. I have some bend in my elbow. It's just a little out away from my body. From here, we're gonna rotate to the right and to the left as if we're throwing a rear side strike to a lead side strike. So I'm in my nice 60-40, rotating to the right, loading your rear leg, rotating to the left, loading your lead leg, keeping the pressure on that rear leg. Now, when I do this with speed, you're gonna do it for time. So this particular exercise, I recommend going as hard, as fast, explosive as you can for one whole minute. I'm gonna show you a couple reps. And, from the side. Now this drill is not only going to up your endurance, but it's also going to build your rotational power that it takes to be an explosive boxer. Now, one more one minute drill for you guys. When you finish your 10, your 10, your one, you're gonna finish out with one more minute of a cool down. All I'm gonna do is keep those arms pumping. I'm gonna pedal my feet, work on that timing. I'm connecting my left to left, my right to right. I'm turning my fists over and I'm keeping my punches at least eye level. And I'm going for a minute. When I'm done, shake it out. You got three rounds, team. Now, if you are a southpaw, just do it in your stance. Now, if you're somebody who's kind of funky, maybe you're an MMA practitioner, you like to switch, you're a, a southpaw and an orthodox, practice on both sides, do two sets, do four sets. But do you, this is my strong stance, and these are your explosive boxing exercises team. All right, Power Hands fam, I'll catch you in the next one, later.